What is up guys, I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Today, I'm going to do something seriously Asian. Because I'm going to cook bean curd skin. In Mandarin, we call it fuzu, with shiitake mushroom and black fungus. So what is fuzu? For those who doesn't know what is fuzu or bean curd skin, it is um, a popular alternative to meat, especially among the vegetarian, because it tastes like meat and it has a meat texture. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to stir fry bean curd skin with shiitake mushroom and black fungus. Keep watching. So here is the bean curd skin that I purchased. I'm using the one that is in the form of sticks. What I need is to cut it into pieces of equal size, about 2 inches sections. And it got to be gentle as it is very brittle. Place the tofu skins in a large bowl of cold water and soak it until soft. It is also essential to use only cold water, not hot water, uh, as hot water will soften the outer layer of the bean curd skin quickly while the inner layers are still firm. When they are soft and no longer feel difficult to bend, remove it immediately. Bring a pot of water to a boil, then blanch the bean curd skin briefly, say about 15 seconds and then remove immediately. This time will remove the unwanted smell and also the sand that might still adhere to it. The next item is black fungus. In Mandarin, we call it mu er. We need to rehydrate the black fungus as well as the dry shiitake mushroom before you use it for this recipe. After about 15 to 20 minutes, the black fungus will expand to about several times of its original size. Then remove the stem of the fungus which is tough. And then cut it into smaller pieces. And for the rehydrated uh, mushrooms, remove the stem and then cut them into thick slices. Get a few cloves of garlic and cut them into thin slices. Cut the green bell peppers into half inch pieces. Cut a small carrot diagonally. Carrot contributes flavor and also brighten up the color of the dish. Cut a medium sized tomato into small cubes. The tomato will disintegrate while cooking and turning it into puree partially and flavoring the tofu skin. Cut the spring onion into two sections. The white part should be in thin slices for sauteing and the green section for stir fry in the last minute of cooking. Now let's prepare the bean curd skin for frying. Mix a beaten egg with a large tablespoon of cornstarch to form a thick slurry. Then place the bean curd skin into the egg mixture to coat each of them evenly. Add a little bit of oil into a non-stick pan. I use non-stick pan because it requires less oil and is healthier. Now drain off the excess egg batter. Then shallow fry the bean curd skin single layer in the non-stick pan with some hot oil until both sides turn golden brown. When it's done, remove from heat and set aside. That's how it looks like after pan frying. The stir fry process is quick and easy, and it takes less than 10 minutes to complete. So heat some vegetable oil, for example peanut oil in a wok, over medium heat, 
and then sauté the garlic slices for about half a minute or until it turns aromatic. Then add the white section of the spring onions and continue sautéing. After that, add the carrots. Mushrooms, then followed by the tomatoes, and don't forget the black fungus. Now the vegetables are already half cooked, and the tomato is already half disintegrated. Add a little bit of water as it is too dry. Season with salt, sugar, some ground white pepper, light soy sauce, add the green bell pepper. Now return the bean curd skins to the wok. It looks like still a little bit too dry, so I add some water. As the bean curd skins can absorb plenty of water. Since the bean curd skins are still slightly hot, I add more water to cook it for a while. Do a taste test. Season it with a little bit more light soy sauce. And I also add some oyster sauce, which is my preference. You can turn it into a vegetarian dish by omitting the oyster sauce and use more light soy sauce and some sugar. Throw in the green section of the spring onion. When it's done, remove it from the wok. So here you go, that's my version of bean curd skin with shiitake mushroom and black fungus. That's how I cook bean curd skin, fuzhu, and I hope you like this recipe. If you want to get the recipe, I've included it in the description below the video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.